There are at least 36 political parties registered with the Electoral Commission in Uganda. But of these, only six parties have representation in parliament. Political parties were in abeyance for 20 years from 1986 when President Yoweri Museveni shot his way to power until 2006 after the referendum on political party systems in 2005. 92% of the people voted to open up the political space. But debate has been reignited on whether Uganda was ready for multi-party politics as the country gears up for the 2016 general elections. Dr. Sabit Makara, a senior political science lecturer at Makerere University, argues that whereas Uganda was ready for multi-party politics, the ingredients for successful implementation were lacking. Most of the opposition parties in Africa, not only in Uganda, usually lack enough finances to compete favorably with the ruling party. In many cases, the ruling party has all the resources at the at its, at its disposal. He also says there is still a hangover of the movement system which promoted individual merit politics as opposed to political parties that are based on structures. Even when they existed uh, under the no party system under M7, they were not working because they were not allowed to go beyond their headquarters. But former Prime Minister and our historical Chintu Musuke believes that the multi-party politics failed to take root due to ideological bankruptcy in political parties. The problem is that since 1962, we have not learned the method of multi-party democracy. That's why, that's why we ended up in coups, we ended up in undermining others. Intrigue. And intrigue is no way of running a country. In Uganda's political history, the founding fathers of political parties have had an overbearing influence on them. For instance, the once powerful Uganda People's Congress that twice ruled Uganda has been struggling since the death of its leader, Dr. Apollo Milton Obote, in 2005. Critics say the prospects of the Forum for Democratic Change Party have significantly declined since its charismatic former president, Dr. Kiza Besje, stepped down. Uh, the NRM is a classic example. It, it, cannot, uh, it cannot allow any other person to, to, to be at the helm of the party apart from the founder. But in neighboring Tanzania, the Chama Chama Pindus party has outlived its popular former leader, Molim Julius Nyerere, who died in 1999. Even in South Africa, Namibia and Mozambique, ruling parties remain strong largely due to structures which Ugandan parties lack. If we are going to institutionalize multi-party politics, a leader should not own a party. Eh? The party should own leaders. The growing number of independents in politics also presents a challenge to multi-party politics. Chintu Musoke argues that this shows that multi-party politics did not take root. One of the many unanswered questions about multi-party politics in Uganda is the economic condition of this country and whether it can sustain the political system. Can, for instance, a population that is largely rural and peasant vote ideology or handouts? Shilandwuchere, NTV Kampala.